Baptist Church. How you doing? This is Pastor Chris here. I'm, I'm just sitting here out on my front porch enjoying the beautiful day that the Lord has given us. I'm here with Mr. David. Yep. He is home today. Uh, he's been dealing with some asthma issues over the last mm -hmm. couple weeks, so he is uh, uh, just getting a break. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say we had an appointment this morning. Yes. Uh, so you can get you guys could be praying for us in that and that um, he'll continue to improve. And I also had some McDonald's white milk too. Yeah, he had some McDonald's mm -hmm. white milk. Uh, very exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. But as I said, I'm out here on my front porch enjoying the beautiful day that the Lord has given us and uh, just enjoying God's creation. It's a good time to do that. And as I was doing that, I, I was thinking, you know, our battle verse um, last month at Hampstead Baptist Church was Isaiah 40 uh, chapter 40 verse 8 which is the grass withers the flower fades but the word of our God will stand forever and I was just thinking as I was sort of contemplating that verse that you know in a world in which things are constantly changing uh, things are shifting that isn't it awesome to know that we have something that stands forever and the thing that we have that stands forever is the Word of God. And, you know, this world does throw a lot at us as it's changing. Um, things don't always change for the better. We know that for sure. And I was thinking also about Psalm 27 and, and David. And in Psalm 27, David, he's going through some difficult times. But as he's going through these difficult times, the one thing that he was seeking after was the face of our God. And as, as life throws at us so many things... You know, and we'll be tempted to look in all different directions to try and find help in the midst of those times. But the only place that we can ultimately find help is in the presence of God, in the presence of our Lord, as, as David knew very well. Um, and this is a passage of Scripture that's just, for some reason, I don't know why, but Psalm 27 has been turning over my head for some time. I was talking to Pastor Joey about that last night. Uh, but David says in, in Psalm 27, verse 4, he says, One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to, to inquire in his temple. David just wanted to be in the presence of God. And as I think about that, I think, you know, as children, as kids, whenever we are going through hard times or whenever life is just not what we want it to be, um, and even now as an adult, I get in, in those places where sometimes I just feel like I, I want my mom around or I, I want my parents around because I, you know, as a kid, you know, we know that our mom and our dad can always make things better. Sadly, as we get older, that's not always the case. And we come to realize that, you know, our parents can't take away all of our hurts. Our parents can't take away all of our pains. But, you know, there is one who can do that, and he invites us into his presence. He invites us to come and to be with him and to spend time with him and to give all of our cares and our troubles to him. And David understood. You know, David, he made a lot of mistakes in his life. He was by no means perfect. He, he did a lot of silly, silly things, and he caused a lot of people a lot of heartache and pain. And he experienced a lot of heartache and pain, but ultimately he had this, this Godward view, and he knew that... Um, that's where his salvation rested, was in the Word of God. And we see that in Psalm 27. And as he was going through a difficult time, which he was in this psalm, he knew that the place that he could go and to find relief was in the presence of God. The one thing, as we said, that, that doesn't change. Uh, the presence of God, the Word of God, who God is, it doesn't change. That is, It is a sure foundation david understood that so that's what he was seeking as he was going through these these difficult days and as he got to that that place and as he got to that that point he was brought to a place of worship he says in verse six he says and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me and now i will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy so he's worshiping the lord and as he's worshiping he's shouting for joy he says i will sing and make melody to the lord in verse 7, he says, Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. And then in verse 8, You have said, the, the Lord has said to him, Seek my face. And now David says, My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, do I seek. So God has told us to seek him, and David in obedience is indeed seeking the face of the Lord. And it is here in God's presence that we can find ultimate peace, that we can find the comfort 
in this world that we need. Again, I, um, this life is hard. Um, there's a lot of difficulties. There are things that we can't make sense of. Everything's changing. And it seems like the, the pace of change is happening faster every day, every moment, every month, every year seems to be going by faster than the one previous to it. And that can be a source of anxiety for a lot of us. Um, but in the presence of God, we can find peace, we can find comfort. And so that's my encouragement to you guys today, just to find rest in the Lord. The one thing in our world, and our universe that doesn't change, it's not shifting. In our God, there is no shifting sand. It is a firm foundation. The foundation, of course, is the rock who is our Lord Jesus Christ. So today, just be encouraged in that. And I, I'm praying for you guys. Um, and as always, I, I love you all. And if I can do anything at all for you, um, please let me know. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. I love you guys. And God bless you. Say goodbye, David. Bye. Joshua, you want to come say bye to Hampstead Baptist Church? Come here. Say bye. Say bye. Say we love you. Nope. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. God bless you guys.